health. And we know particularly in women that mood has so much to do with sexual desire that it's not even, it's not even worth mentioning. I think all of you women listeners know that mood is really what drives your interest in sex for the most part. We've mentioned before that in general, visual cues for men is often one of the things that men absolutely have to have, but mood is far more important for women. Which actually brings me to the next question. How do women get in the mood if they have low sex drive? So uh, I see a number of patients in both my Palm Springs practice and Santa Barbara practice where they have visited who I call Dr. Feelgoods in hormone replacement therapy. And whether this is by pellets, whether this is bioidentical hormones, whether this is in shots, whether this is in prescriptions, so many women in particular are told in the perimenopause period or the postmenopausal period that their lack of desire is because of low hormones, and particularly the hormone testosterone. There is sadly pretty good data that testosterone does not have a huge effect on women's sexual desire. About 15% of women will respond to testosterone replacement with increased sexual desire, sometimes dramatic. But about 85% of women will not respond, even at high dose testosterone. And I see, sadly, numbers of women who are shaving their arms, that are shaving their face in an effort, and they come in with testosterone levels of anywhere from 200 to 750, which many men would think would be the most wonderful thing that ever happened to them and they still have no sexual desire. And yet their doctors keep pushing testosterone on them to find this magic level. Uh, when I have a very good friend, gynecologist, whose office is next door to me, who's taught me a lot through my career, and he says without a doubt, and I've come to agree with him, that if a woman has low sexual desire, he wants to look at the social circumstances of that relationship, of that marriage, if it's a long-term couple, how tired both individuals are, rather than looking at giving them testosterone or any other of the sex hormones. Can women take Viagra? Well, yeah, anybody can take Viagra. Uh, it has been tried for women. There have been experiments with women. It does not increase sex drive. You have to understand that Viagra dilates blood vessels. It was developed to dilate blood vessels in the lung, and some happy researcher found out it had an additional benefit for him. But so Viagra does not stimulate sexual desire. It allows men who otherwise are not getting enough blood flow to their penis to get enough blood flow to the penis. But as I said before, if your husband is taking Viagra, it ought to be the biggest wake-up call for his other, otherwise health, both his brain health and his heart health. Uh, get him to get somebody who will counsel him on the plant paradox, and believe me, you'll be pleased. Let me ask.